finding audio. All right, on me first. Hi, I'm Hoshi with TaiwaneseAmerican.org. Today, I'm with my friend actor, Kelvin Yu, who's on the new Netflix hit show, Master of None. And yes. in real life, Kelvin Yu, Taiwanese American. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too, Hoshi. I'm so happy you could uh, make time for us today. We're oh, here man. at your studio for uh, the other role that you do, Box yes. Burgers. You're a writer and producer. That's for right. The show, right. That's correct. Yeah. And it should be said out loud that you and I have known each other since I was 11 years old. Forever. Yeah. yeah. Us. When we were at Taiwanese American summer camp. Taiwanese right? American Foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Calvin, at Calvin College in Grand Rapids. Exactly. Michigan. Yeah. Such good times. And it's so amazing to see how far you've come with your acting career, with your writing career. Thank you, and you as well. Thank everything. you so much. Well, Equivalent. let's talk about uh, um, how you got to this point, really, um, yeah. in your acting career. Like, How did you start? What have you done since? Yeah. You know, okay, to, to crunch it all down into a Wikipedia entry, um, I started when I was 19 mm -hmm. uh, professionally. I went to UCLA theater, and then um, I didn't finish there, but I finished, I got a degree in communications, but they were, uh, a friend of mine came up and said they're looking for a, somebody to play a 15-year-old Chinese kid on a show called Popular on the WB, and I think I was um, too green to know that this was an opportunity. I just thought, okay, and I walked in and I auditioned, so that was my first audition, and I ended up getting it, so I was sort of thrown in, in some ways I feel like I was deprived the opportunity of being an extra and um, cutting my teeth that way because I was just in. Uh, I never really got the chance to make a decision, do I want to be a professional actor? So that was my story for a good um, a good decade or so, maybe 12 years. I was audition submitting and auditioning, submitting and auditioning. And at some point I had to look in the mirror and go, I don't know if it's the best way for me to achieve my goals by hoping my phone rings, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I'm sure uh, th this happens in every industry. Like, do you ever watch Shark Tank? Occasionally. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, there's different ways to get your product out mm -hmm. there. And it, and you're, you have your own small business and I have my own small business. And so the question you have to, you have to think about, like clinically, is what's the best way for, my, for me to grow my business? And I was essentially waiting for somebody somewhere a, a writer to, to put me into something and that I would go in and everything would work out great and I would get that role and people would see that product. But I just decided, why wait? So I started writing and that led me here to Bob's Burgers mm -hmm. uh, where I've been for six seasons. And Yeah, and congratulations. The show won a Primetime Emmy Award. We did. That's why I'm year. standing right in front of um, <laughs> Lil <laughs> Linda Belcher Emmy stand-up. Uh, we did. We uh, we won an Emmy, uh, not this year, but the year before. Uh, we were no nominated last year. Um, and it's been, you know, the most rewarding creative experience yeah. for me. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, amazing. Anything else you're working on this side? Uh, my writing partner and I, Stephen Davis, uh, we have a pilot that we're going out with, um, meaning it's just a spec mm -hmm. pilot, that a script that we'll, we'll shop uh, first, in, uh, first to 20th Century Fox, because that's where our contract is. And then... If it doesn't go there, then there's so many places to do creative things these days. There's Amazon, there's mm -hmm. Netflix. And here at Bob's, we have two more seasons uh -huh. uh, picked up. So it's a really exciting time to be um, creative and Taiwanese yeah. American. You are busy and you are doing well. <laughs> Thanks. It's, it's, it's great to see how far you've come. I, I am busy, but yeah. that, it's a good thing. So uh, one last thing. Yeah. Um, so for our younger Taiwanese American audience out there yeah. you know, who Oftentimes they're struggling to figure out what they're going to do with their life. Right. Oftentimes feeling like they're not, they're like they're the master of none. Sure. You know, what's your advice to them? Uh, be a doctor. <laughs> like me. <laughs> be an engineer like you. you do, a, do like Ho Chi. Um, what's my advice to them? My advice is, again, I'll reiterate kind of what I, what I just said, that your success, and it, it, I think it's going to sound cliche, and it's not. And it is cliche, but it is true. Your success is completely within your um, your agency. Like, y if you look at your day today, if you look at the desk that you have in your room, you uh, everything that you want to accomplish exists there. It really does. And um, I really, really do believe that. And and the more you give it away, and you th and you think that. Somebody out there is got, gonna gonna hand me an opportunity, or I just have to wait for uh, the planets to line up. Uh, those things happen when you make the first step. So, 
whether you're interested in entertainment and writing, directing, mm-hmm. acting, producing, or whether you're interested in being a lawyer or, or anything, you know, um, an architect, uh, it starts like sort of today. And, and I think that Taiwanese people often, and I'm going to generalize and stereotype here, are often are hardworking, mm-hmm. if not always hardworking. I don't think that's the issue ever. You know, like, I think the issue is believing that you are just as entitled as the next person in, in this country to uh, maybe be a little bullish about your opportunity being now. So it's not about the hard work. You're gonna, we, we've got that covered. You know, it, it's, it's about stepping out of your comfort zone and saying, my time is right now and I'm gonna take my time. So I, I would encourage courage, I think, with Taiwanese Americans. Um, and, and I think the work is always gonna follow. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Thank again. you. And it's it's so good to see, to see you. you. Yeah, I really, um, really good to see you. Kelvin Yu, actor, master of none, writer, and producer, Bob's Burgers. TimesMarket.org. We'll see you next time. I hope this recorded. <laughs> I, so I have this like paranoid feeling like nothing is actually happening on this one. <laughs> How are we doing? I think it recorded. Yeah, it good. did. Yay!